Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to beat Emmy and achieve the brand new Awoken Reyes. It's been a long time coming for this character. Ever since I saw his awakening, I knew I had to have him. And he's finally here now, so I gotta make sure to see it through. And let me just tell you, this is gonna be a blind attempt at this. The only information that I will have is what you guys left me down below in the comment section of my last video. I asked all you guys to leave me some tips about the fight. Don't spoil it. And this is literally all I have to go on. Either way, it's time. So let's get grinding and get to this chapter 14 boss. So I don't know if this is actually the boss right here, the Blade Awakens, because I went into this quest and I did see that we fought Emmy. But from what I read, like in the news over here, it says you have to beat the Clash in Lariz. And I'm assuming that's later on, because if you see right here, it says chapter 14, quest 4-5 EX. Also, chat, look what I got. I hated on him so much. And I was like, you know what? Let me just do a multi. And uh, he came through. I was thinking about making this video where we like fight this boss with him but i was like uh, i'll save that for another one all right and i don't think this is the actual fight i think this is like one of the baby fights they do you know before the actual thing yeah that was definitely the preview of it easy peasy also i know a lot of you guys could be like op are you using tracking instead of sustina i am i have a very controversial opinion about this is that oh this is it isn't it i have a very controversial opinion i think about this whole situation and i'm just gonna say it uh i personally believe that reyes uh, not Reyes, that Draken with his 4 plus is better than Sestina. Like, I'll just use Draken from now on. Unless I absolutely need, like, more tanking, then I'm gonna use Sestina. But for right now, I'm using Draken pretty much all the way. Also, we have to use Reyes in this fight, which I don't think is too bad. Some people were like, oh yeah, dude, this is gonna be horrendous. But, I mean, look, look at him. Look at the slots. Like, look at... <laughs> I forgot I bought it. Oh my god, dude. This is the worst mistake I ever had. Well, I didn't buy it. I used my true weapon ticket on it, but yeah. Oh, he already has his four-star heal. Well, that's pretty beneficial. Also, let me do this. I know I mentioned it in the intro, or I should have mentioned it in the intro. You guys came through and gave me some tips, I think, on my last video. So I'm gonna go check that out real quick because I haven't looked at the comment section all that and see what you guys are saying. So I have like a heads up going into this. You need Lisa and or three blessed necklaces. Really? Thanks so much, Arca, for that. I'm going to be, you know, looking into that. Emmy will reduce your party's attack, so bring someone who can buff your team's damage. Emmy will occasionally stack a damage res on the team, as well as dumb little debuffs where it constantly... Oh my god, you actually went crazy in detail, Chaos. No audio is a big day well i say today tonight is a big night awoken reyes finally releases i can't hear that so now since we know that we have to use reyes in the team which makes me kind of want to just see how well we do with like all like i feel like i need something that does damage though reyes isn't gonna do damage like a part of me is like go juno and lisa here and then just let them go crazy with mako which is i think what i'm gonna do okay so i think this is what we're rocking with right now i'm gonna see how well this does let's just see what happens man let's just see how crazy this boss fight is ex the blade awakens we have been waiting for this wait oh i'm about to say there's another reyes but i forgot he does that whenever you use him and uh, dude i haven't used him in so long but we've been waiting for this for a long time and this has been a thing that everyone has wanted and it's finally here so we have to do it and i ain't gonna cap already she hitting kind of hard i feel like i really need to get everybody going before her first threshold happens because uh yeah wait is she critting my team oh that may be a problem oh we might actually need sandstone for real i just now noticed that yeah i think she's actually critting my team and she's increasing my damage taken while juno is constantly draining her hp i don't think this is going to be a good setup at all so every single threshold it seems like it's just going to be crazy amounts of damage so I gotta be ready for that. But damage wise, it's not too bad, right? I think we're doing okay damage wise, but I'm almost positive once she starts hitting these thresholds, it's gonna be quite difficult to like really push through it. Here we go. So she finally got her crit resist up. So we're not gonna be able to crit anymore, which kind of sucks. And I don't know exactly what I could do to help my tanking in this situation. I don't think there is anything. I think we're doing okay for right now. I mean, we're looking pretty healthy overall. I don't know who else to be giving blessed necklace to. Maybe I should just give it to everybody just to be safe, which is kind of what I want to do. Also, she is using her true art here, and I hope this doesn't deal like insane amounts of damage. And also, since she has crit resist, do I still crit? Okay, I still do crit. Oh my Jesus Christ. I, I don't care anymore. I crush you. Hey, yo! I think I know the strat here. If it's just Juno dying, then I could maybe revive Juno. But if it's getting too crazy like this, I maybe need to switch out completely and not even use Juno. Because her HP detriment is actually being kind of crazy. Wait, wait, what does this say? Target's the highest unit that inflicts the highest damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Juno's gonna be taking some insane damage then. Because usually just Mako by herself is enough to heal. But against a fight like this, it's definitely 
showing that it's not. And yeah, that's, oh my God, it's just so much damage, man. Unfortunately, Juno can't even like life steal. A part of me kind of wants to just get rid of True Testament here and go like True Exceed Zex to kind of keep her survivability up. But I don't even know if that's really the play in the situation. And if I time my Puck's Pouch right, we should be fine. Also, here he goes again. I don't care anymore. I crush everything. And this is going to be the big damage right here. As you see right there, boom, huge damage on Juno. But we instantly healed it with the Puck's Pouch. The thing is, I need this equip CT to be faster because it's not fast enough. Look at this damage. Look at this damage. It's insane. I think she just died right there. I think that was the uh, blessed necklace proc right there, which is, oh my goodness, it's crazy. What is this uh, debuff that I have on me? Is this increased damage that I'm taking or what, what's the deal with this? But so far, we're almost at the last threshold here. We're at the second to last threshold. Let me see, man. Well, I think we're doing all right. You know what I'm saying? I think we're doing all right so far. Our crit resist and defense up. We have true flambardo up. We also have the red... This is what I'm thinking, like, for the straight turtle comp. Thing is, I don't know if this is actually what I should do or not. Because I kind of want damage to make sure that I'm fine. I really would like an attacker here. Because I feel like we need something on the team to deal a little bit more oomph. But I feel like I also can't really replace the healing. I don't know. We'll see how this works. If this doesn't work, then I'm thinking of going a different team comp already. But I haven't used Sandstone in quite a minute. And I haven't, you know, really had to cycle my defense equips like that. I shouldn't have used Goblin Slayer Helm, I don't think. But it should be fine, man. It should be fine. So let's see. Uh, do these guys have the same, like, cooldown? 25 seconds, 30 seconds? About the same. So we'll use True Flambardo and the uh, armor every single time they come back up and then cycle the Goblin Slayer Helm whenever uh, this is down. Maybe this is the strat. You just turtle your way through it. They're about making it up to the first threshold here. Damage up. Oh, ooh, Lord G. Ooh, ooh. Wow, that did nothing. Okay. See, whenever we were doing it the last time, that dealt quite a bit of damage. One thing I'm kind of worried about, though, is that the ending nuke. Like, how exactly am I going to deal with that? Let me see. How much does Harto hit for? Let me see. What was this damage right here? Oh, wait. It's all zeros because she's doing her nuke. Let me see. What's this deeps? Yeah, that's nothing right there. Okay, but we have a lot of attack downs, though. So we're not really doing too great. It would have been nice if, like, for this stage, they just automatically awoken Uraeus. Instead of him having, like, just five star, he was, like, awoken already. Just for this stage, specifically specifically till like you beat it then once you beat it you know you can actually use him and everything else that would have been a nice little addition you know what i'm saying would have made this a little bit easier because then you would have actually had a damage dealer on the team because right now i mean we have a lot of attack downs and there's not really a way for me to get rid of this and uh, i don't really know what i should be doing because a part of me kind of says that you know just do like a dps kind of race to it tank as much as you can and then just deal as much damage and then keep it pushing like that i don't know also another thing that i'm thinking of is just use a character that has so much innate like buffs in their kit that it will be perfectly fine also i just not realized they reset my art gauge right there or she resets my art gauge i just saw it that's crazy good thing she doesn't get rid of my buffs though but i mean we're vibing right now i think we're chilling i don't think we got to worry about nothing emmy's really just not doing anything to this team comp granted we've been in here for three minutes already with sandstone's buff up it's just enough like all the time maybe we don't even need lisa maybe we do i think we need lisa <laughs> oh oh my god oh my god what was that that was insane damage on haruto what oh oh i see what's happening because my damage resist is so low now that's not good at all Oh, boys. My damage resist is actually crucified at the moment. So, here we go again. Here's another attack, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to survive this, to be honest. Ooh. Yeah, I think we're vibing. I think. Are we vibing? Are we vibing or are we dead? I think, yeah, we're vibing. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, we really got to make sure these defense equips are up at the right time, because if not, then we're just going to take way too much damage. Oh, we are just doing poo-poo damage at the moment man she has so much damage up too jesus christ i see why people use like mako in this because i saw a lot of people of course i didn't watch like anything really but i saw like you know whenever people use like volti or something against this fight i saw a lot of people use mako here and i think it's for the simple fact that okay i have another idea if you can just out heal the damage we should be fine boys i don't see what the issue is we gave hard to the Chewy X gate. He's the main damage dealer now. Some may call him the captain, and that's absolutely what he is. He's going to be dealing all the deeps for us. And we're going to be having, like, what, 1,500 heals per second? And I think we're vibing i will have to be a little bit more careful with like my equips and stuff like that because you don't have the equipment ct anymore from lisa and i also think too that the action speed slowdown effect that mako has is pretty beneficial here because especially in the end she's doing so much damage so quickly i think we kind of need it 
Let's see that Haruto damage. Let's see that Haruto damage right here. Let me see. Does it take to the threshold? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It does. Yes, sir. I don't know what defense buffs I have up, so I'm going to pop Goblin Slayer Helm too to give me some extra oomph, you know, some extra oomph. Maya should have went Blessed Necklace instead of Keratos. There's no reason for me to have Keratos in this fight at all. You either need more healing or you need like revives to just be safe. Okay, she has a crit resist up now, but from what I can tell, I don't think it's a lot. It seems like barely anything because whenever she did this last time, I was still able to use like True EX Gate and get quite a bit of effect out of it. All right, so here we are. This is where it gets scary. Once you hit that half HP threshold, this is where stuff starts really hitting the fan. She starts dealing insane amounts of deeps and then on top of dealing insane amounts of deeps, she's also just a very like menacing boss like setting over you like you know unit wise kind of like whatever look at the damage res though so i guess this always gets inflicted on you no matter what even if you're going faster like i guess just once you hit a certain threshold she's gonna inflict you with three of those bad boys see that that was some damage but we instantly healed it you saw that you saw that damage that just happened and we instantly healed it. that's that mako and harto combo man so it seems like once you hit a certain threshold, one of your units are going to get targeted. And I'm assuming it was Harto in that situation because Harto is dealing the most damage. So we're going to rock the blessed necklace again on Harto specifically. And I think we're going to go back in there with this team and see how well we do. Because I don't want to look at other people's teams yet because I feel like that will give it away and I don't want to like spoil it completely for myself. Also, I should just turn on skill so I don't have to like keep doing that myself. So yeah, game plan now. We keep doing what we were doing. Get her back at that threshold see if haruto can survive if i have blessed necklace on this time around and hope that at the last threshold she doesn't wind up killing my entire team i think that's a valid strategy uh, we don't have sandstone's true art up which is kind of scary because yeah we're gonna be taking some deeps right here which oh man dude that archgen like reset right there at the 50 percent threshold is definitely detrimental like if you can maybe time it and get everybody's like true arts up or like the important ones up before the hp threshold you would be vibing but if you miss time it at all that could cost you your run mako showtime let me see here come on man okay here we go so we're at this threshold i just popped what i need on uh Haruto. I'm going to pop the barrier too just to be safe on everyone and hope that that's enough. So let me see here. She's going to do her thrust and I don't think Haruto died. He might have, but I think he still has the HP on. Yeah, he still has the heal on. So the barrier definitely helped out right there from a uh, sandstone. So it seems like that's one of the ways that you can kind of help negate that right there. But I don't know, man. I think we're still taking quite a bit of damage, even though like it's not showing up yet. You know, this is going to be another full force attack right here. And uh, okay, never mind. We're vibing. We're good. Goodness, this fight is uh is kind of difficult, but it's not like super bad. It's manageable. It's very manageable. But of course, I have like a very stacked team. Thankfully, this is actually a multiplayer, so you guys can do it, you know, with co-op lobbies and everything like that, or you know, Discord friends or whatever. But if you had to do this thing solo, oh, this would be hell <laughs> for a lot of players, especially newer players. I'm right, about to be at the next threshold here, and I don't know how much I need to be like cautious about this next threshold or if it's going to be like another like hp or tank check let me say not hp check i guess it's the same thing because if it is another hp check i need to really be like on my a game and be ready to pop my equips when i need to because here it comes it's about to come through right now and oh we're getting there we're almost there oh we're here it's here the hp thrust oh lord jesus it's coming through i i don't know what i should be expecting i don't know what i should be expecting here i think she just threw it out she just threw it out didn't she oh i'm scared Oh, I'm actually terrified right here. Oh, Lord. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. We just took some damage right there, but we just used Puck's Pouch and we're vibing. I don't know if there's another HP check at the end of this. Is there another nuke? I don't see a diamond there. Are we done? Is that the end of it? But, oh, wait, hold on. I say is that the end of it, but I ain't gonna cap. She's kind of really dealing some deeps now. But no, I need to slow her down with Mako and kind of like give me some breathing room for a little bit because worst case scenario right now is that we all die and we don't want that at all. And oh my goodness, yeah, that's a lot of damage coming to it. Oh, five minutes on the dot. Is that the end of it? Did we get it? No way. I feel like you had to do a time requirement too, right? No, that's it. The spirit of adventure. Oh my God, he has his own little panel. If you click the thing for his X-Force. Hold up. No way. Oh my God. I don't fight just because the sword chose me. I have my own will. Chose to save a higher. Okay, calm down a little bit right there, man. You know, let's take it a few steps back. But look at the artwork there. Look at the knees. Look at the knees. You know, look at the positions right here. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this is a... I mean, I know, like, the stance he's doing. I get the idea of it. But, like, every time they do, like, one of these artworks, I'm like, dude, these legs. Their legs are just screaming. Actually screaming in pain. And that's it. That's the X-Force. And then you get the... X Wait, what? His yes is art his true art x art x truth what look at this 
increase attack, increase damage. You get a hundred arts up whenever you enter the X mode, you get the attack up. Reyes now wields the actual true grand scale on I gotta level it up though, but he now has it. And you guys can expect a showcase very soon. To be honest, the fight itself, I don't think is too bad. The fact that I could just throw a bunch of healing at it and kind of sandstone as well and just kind of cheese it to an extent. Not really cheese it, but I really only had to watch my HP like once during that entire fight, which was whenever the second to last threshold happened. It's not too bad of a fight and definitely very easily accomplished in co-op if you have to do it in co-op so if you guys need help with this you know hey you know my discord's always open other people's discords are always open there's a lot of people that will be out there willing to help you with this i'm pretty sure so everybody can obtain this free unit and let me see yeah i think uh, a lot of people had that idea of going the mako sandstone route uh oh yeah fittoria would have been insane right there oh wait but he actually used a woken race against it not just regular one let me see i want to see uh, what else other people use seven minutes this is the exact team i used what what were you doing were you not using freaking mako's art at all was there no true ex gay type zero on the haruto oh my god oh my god red comet you see here just a complete chad you know wait what you can do this either way though fam that's gonna be it for this video thank you all for coming out it's been your boy op if you enjoyed this video tell me down below how you guys all like this fight you know if it was difficult to you if you you know were having some trouble or what the case may have been i also want to say that i think we're going to be live streaming tomorrow possibly maybe doing uh some of the co-op stuff that we have to do in the campaign and maybe even doing some runs of this maybe i'll help some of you guys out we'll just see what happens either way though live stream tomorrow thank you all again for coming out it's Mirabo P. And last but not least, don't forget to drink water.